Hey, hey, we're back. Hello, everyone. I'm Kay. And I'm Zio. And today we're going to discuss uh, something pretty big that happened a few weeks ago in the industry. This is bank to binary uh, shutting down, right? I mean, this is huge for binary options. And um, Zio, what's your take on this? I believe that although there um, there was a big gorilla in the industry, they were like massive in all the fairs, in every presence all over the web and everywhere. We cannot say that we had not uh, seen this coming. Yeah, it's no, been a long time coming that something like this will happen to them. We have heard a lot of rumors and a lot of things on the web, a lot of people complaining, and then this is the natural for me conclusion of something like this. I think something like this probably needed to happen in order for better. Uh, parts of the industry to show and regulation to properly set in. I think uh, this is a company that has been associated with uh, continuous um, scams and scandals over the years. Maybe they got their act together over the last one or two years, but it was very clear that the company official who actually, a bank to binary official who actually came out, um, openly said that um, we can't run this business anymore because our brand name is so tarnished. You know, this was something that was in Finance Magnates. This was also in uh, some other publications. So this is coming from Bank to Binary themselves. They acknowledge how badly their brand reputation was tarnished. Now, maybe some of that is competitors, but generally speaking, uh, when Bank to Binary started off just a few years in, uh, they were removed from the U.S., right? Correct, yes. And they had a big lawsuit, I think, or something like that happening to them in a, in a fine yeah. or something. So they had to go out for, from that market. So they've been fined before. Other brokers have as well, but they've actually been deported out of a country. Um, and this is this is big for the industry. And it has always been our opinion that there would be an event. And I think this is just the beginning of a cascading uh, set of events to come over the yes. next year. Um, we have some pretty big news coming soon in another Bears episode, something yes. that's happened in Canada, which has shaken the very fabric. But ultimately, as perverse as it sounds, um, the downfall of these large uh, companies, which have not been following ethical business practices, is the right way forward so that the demand will remain for binary options. It'll just probably go elsewhere to better. Exactly. Shops. But one thing, I uh, just want to take on something. I believe that although Back to Binary has done some, let's say, bad things in the industry, I'm sure they they are also also to thank for for the rise in binary options, right? I mean, all their advertising, everything has um, has introduced binary options to the world. So although um, they have, I know that they have um, uh, created some bad publicity for themselves, and maybe they have created a lot of issues to a lot of people. They have also introduce binary options to the world, to people, to other people, other people know of the industry now because of them. I think so. It's not only bad, the bad things that they've done. I'm sure everybody does good and bad things, but I think they have also helped the industry a bit. I, I would say that's been, I totally agree. I think what's happened there is that's a more unintended consequence um, of them doing it. I don't think they actually went out openly and wanted to do that. I think this is something that they just, to be perfectly honest, um, it happened to be the case that they end up on the front page of a lot of the search engines for new binary option entrants. And so immediately when they type in binary options, they're greeted with bank to binary or a product, you know, a yeah. scam product, which leads people to deposit at bank to binary. Um, so I agree with you that they definitely brought the sector into limelight, but let's not forget the first company that created binary options was actually binary.com, yes. uh, who themselves have played games uh, last year. Uh, we know this from... Uh, one of the services we run and so and we're going to do an entire episode on that as well uh, so it's very important to note that not even the most regulated brokers um, are always 100 percent legit having said that there are some brokers um, which have only conducted uh, business practices ethically since the beginning of binary options and that's very good because we believe longer term these brokerages will be the ones. Yes, to uh, stay in this industry. And this industry has a future. I, I don't think, all the, although a lot of regulations absolutely. come into this future, into this uh, industry, I believe that there is a future and yeah, it will be probably less companies and less brokers and maybe even less traders, yeah. but it will clean up the space and everything will be okay. Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, binary options is, in my view, probably the most simplest way to trade the financial markets, right? It's 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 either up or down. I mean, it's literally just up or down and there's no spread. Um, and, you know, assuming the broker isn't faking the quotes and the prices, um, 
you can take a very small account and grow it to a ridiculously high number percentage wise you know you can take a hundred two hundred dollar account grow it to four or five thousand over a period of six months and then literally live off of that um, certainly generate some some side income um, and also have safe withdrawals if you're at the right broker and you can't do this in any other asset class not not that we have come across um, you need large capital balances in those and so I think binary options is a huge mass market um, yes. product it just needs uh, a new ownership it needs a new management for the whole industry and um, this is the consolidation that we have predicted and uh, this is a good thing you know and uh, it'll be really interesting to see what this means for technology platform providers uh, that powered companies like bank to binary and others uh, only the future will will really um, will really tell yes they will need to adopt and i think the whole industry needs to adapt to what's coming so i believe there's a bright future ahead although we're not going through a bit of a dark phase and we're going to discuss other things in another episode yeah, absolutely but I do believe that there is a future in binary options and yeah, we will get to a better one. Okay. All right. So that was it. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and see you shortly. Thank you very much for being with us. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.